Okay, hi everyone, Daryl here. Okay, this is lesson 17 in my YouTube video series, Investing 101. And today we're going to discuss about plot ratio and gross floor area. Okay, so essentially the plot ratio is used by the government to control land use intensity. And in Singapore, uh, this number is actually updated according to our master plan. So if you are unfamiliar with the master plan, you can look at my other videos on my YouTube channel. I actually show you guys how to actually decipher the master plan. Okay, the plot ratio determines the maximum gross floor area or GFA for short of any development on that land parcel. So it also determines the number of levels that a certain development can have. And I also have another video in my YouTube channel that explains this okay so uh, the government actually uses the gross floor area or gfa to uh, to regulate the land use intensity in a certain area so the maximum gfa is equals to uh, plot ratio multiplied by site area so what does this mean let's take a look at an example so for example, if a certain plot of land has a plot ratio in the master plan that shows up as 3.5 and let's say the land area is 30,000 square meters, then the maximum GFA that can be built is uh, 30,000 times 3.5 which is 105,000 square, 105, square meters. Okay, so what this means is that the developer on this plot of land that is 30,000 square meters, they can build up a building uh, and inside the building can have a gross floor area of 105,000 square meters. Okay, so this is actually useful when spotting properties with on-block potential in some cases. Uh, so if let's say the Singapore government or the Urban Redevelopment Authority revises the plot ratio in the later master plans, then uh, a certain development can actually have more gross floor area built in on that same plot of land so therefore developers may come in and this is one of the factors that they uh, see whether the land is underutilized before deciding whether to uh, try to make an offer on a certain development to purchase all the units uh, in an on-block purchase okay so uh, that's all for this lesson see you at the next video